Let's go. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. <laughs> and he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Defense, what are we doing? Uh oh. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. Come on, come on, come on. Because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly what we're practicing. Two minutes. Good defense, good defense. And at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On one, right? An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. 11, 11, 11. Oh. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Oh, I saw that going to Dang it. Who's on boy, man? Who's on boy, bro? Who's on boy, man? Somebody tell me who's on boy, man. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Now Burrow on first down. Open man is Higgins. Oh. Break every tackle, bro. Known to man, bro. <laughs> Break them all. Oh. Good find. Good find. Good find. They've got to find a way to get him more involved. Call a few more plays to target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Now they come with a jet sweep here as Burrow just taps that forward. A nice play design there. Touchdowns look good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real. After having worked on it all week in practice, they oh. the play, then they drilled him. Good run. Good and run. Good run. That's all right. To maybe the 38 yard line. The Bengals are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Single, 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 single. Go here, ready? Let's go good. A good chance. This is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now, looking at a third and three. Burrow gonna fake to mix it and now look to throw. Bang! Come on, wrap him up. Come on, wrap him up. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. Good job, defense. Now the Bengals gonna signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Out of field goal range. Ah, ah. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's try. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Yeah, fourth and send a postcard to your mama for sure. Hold they'll up. try and throw forward with Burrow. Nice. Good. Try it, but it doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49 yard line. Hmm. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Now Jackson on first down. Come on! <laughs> Let's go, fellas! 
So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No support. <laughs> just 15. No, 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 15. I wanted you to commentate for me. You keep the cage. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return. So, like... I would I would have to email you the footage of the game and then you'd have to commentate over it. Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth ready for It'll be my game that you'll be commentating. No, nah, I, I was playing. I was playing a computer. This was some. This is just like a, a franchise that I was in. I was just playing my computer. But I've been running this franchise for like seven. And he won't get this to the twenty-yard line as he's down at the. Uh, of course, oh, I got you on YouTube. Yep, just like you, like you had a real game and you commentating it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. For this next drive, as this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember the uh -oh. first half. Uh -oh. Good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely, they reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like uh -oh. what they saw in that first half. That's fine. You can just make one. Just shoot me out. Just shoot my people out. You know what I'm saying? Man? And if you could follow my page, that'd be great too, of course. First down, playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. I still believe in you. You got time. Look at this. Three minutes. It's only the third quarter. On second down. Good catch. Hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. 23 yards to pick up there. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this. <laughs> they don't want to fall victim to it themselves. <laughs> That's good. It means you're a competitor. No, no true competitor like the lose. <laughs> No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Jackson's throw brought in here by Bateman. Touchdown of the It'd be a minute, probably. <laughs> he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead <laughs> nah i'll be seeing you you be like nah i ain't getting that <laughs> i see i'll be seeing you i know you don't like to lose tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown He will return this from deep in the end zone. Huh? And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the seven. Yeah, I got a, I got a YouTube page. Mm-hmm. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL mm -hmm. history. Ah, to good hit. From a four possession deficit. And partner, you know if that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl. Ah, that's me. Wasn't enough to put someone away. But that 
That being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Burrow on play action. Oh. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. <laughs> Second down. Oh, yep. I saw him coming out of there. Bubble, bubble. Damn, bro. Chase the motion man right. He'll get it here on the touch. Ah! Ah! Man, hold up. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Uh oh. On second and goal, one man right. stands in the backfield, and that's Mixon. Here's Burrow. Flushed out right. And he'll just chuck this one up into Roach. Good defense, fellas. I'm sure he's a right tough there. halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Oh, oh get there. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon. A five-yard touchdown run. Oh, what a drive. And the Bengals are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Extra point. What a drive, man. What a drive. And the lead is down to 28 10. After the touchdown, good drive, good drive. Good drive. This one away. And this fielded right at the goal line. Got a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. <laughs> uh -oh. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing mm. the ball down the field. Throw them foes up. Ha-ha! <laughs> Throw them foes up. Throw them foes up. Time is rolling out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL for my foe. EA Sports. Second and seven. Jackson on the give to Dallas. <laughs> Nice, nice, and nice, nice, nice. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. You ride to throw is Jackson. Ride with my foe. Eluding the pressure right. <laughs> he's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on Ain't third like down, that. and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. In motion goes the tight end. I got it. one. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. 
Go here. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Throwing is Jackson. Oh, dang. Somebody come help me here. There you go. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Jackson on first down. Ah! No panic in his eyes. Is that the tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand? And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Second and ten. Jackson will throw again. <laughs> right over the top. Right over the top. Good throw, Lamar. And he's got another first down as the right tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 28. 16 yards on that one and a Raven first. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Oh, come on. Come on. Tuddy. Tuddy. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four Justin touchdown Parker passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely Good kick. up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. I feel you. I feel you. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And ultimately this one? This one here you saying? Yard line as he's dropped at the yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's work. That work. That's work. I ain't tripping. On two. The Bengals drive about to get going. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit. Uh, CD, but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Sent my man out the screen with that one, boy. Was like? They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being and over. And they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They go play action with Burrow. Dancing to his left. <laughs> Dang, man. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I swear I sent four. No, I didn't. I only sent oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now they've got more three, manageable three, play three, coming three. up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Now it's Burrow. Mmm. He throws there incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Ah! He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's 
going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Bengals first down. Now they go play action. Nice. Catch is made by Smith Jr. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Oh. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league. It's tough. It's going to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Play action. It's Burrow. Mm. Buying time to his mm -hmm. Good slide. Good slide. Protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He's going to get ah. the two back out of the backfield. Good first. Good first. The Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, good blocking, man. That one. Chase on a touchdown throw from Joe Burrow. And the Bengals are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something that's <laughs> to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. Mm. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, CD, this is the ideal situation in the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead, and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful, they've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this what the on their heck own was terms. That? Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense got crowded the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off <laughs> inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him mm. in the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. He'll let it go deep Ooh. for Beckham. Oh. <laughs> I was looking for a deep boy. I was trying to get that thing out. Now get it. Get it out of it. A final shot now for Burrow. Mm hmm. GG. So the final 
final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory and maybe more importantly a victory in the division which always helps and on the road how about all of that rolled up into one because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin yeah, they, time, it, them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up. On the road, big margin. Yes, sir.
Let go, bro. My headphones dying, dog. My headphones dying, dog. I'm gonna put them like this for now. If I hear somebody barking, nigga, I can hop in. Yes, sir. Dump man. I'm on a wing. I'm on a three-one game. On a three-game win streak. Your hurts. Take the red out of that out, but let's go. Who want this smoke? <laughs> Who want this smoke, bro? Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away, and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Uh-oh. There we go. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the yes, 20. Shout out Splurge. Shout out to Splurge. I could probably go ahead and I'm go ahead and remove that. Play one, and Prescott to the air. That's into the hands of Gallup. Mm, good try. Better result here, a pick up of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Prescott. 
Drop those. Good job, brother. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that was all about the defender mm. making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football mm. through all that contact. Mm. Ends up forcing the incompletion. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Trying to run for it with Ah, come on. Good run. What the hell? They'll drop this underneath to the tackle guys. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's gonna bring up second down. Brings up second and five at the forty yard line. A give to Palmer, running left. That's a pretty strong running there. It's <coughs> the Good running there. Down to the 44. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Prescott. Nice ball, oh, Hamilton. You supposed to catch that off the tip, my boy. Good jump, bro. Who's that, Steven? That boy got some leap of faith out there. Good tackle, bro. Good gang tackle. Good gang tackle. Third and four. Can we get off the field? This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Prescott down. Uh, Rip the ball. Look at his right hand. Right there, too. He's waiting for it. He's waiting for it. He was waiting for it. Oh my god. Watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up. You got to drop those eventually, right? And they built that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. There's Prescott. Come on, get the pick. Bro, come on, Queen. Frustrating. Mm. What a drive. <laughs> what a drive. Oh my god. Now they send the tight end in motion left. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Dallas. Good drive, guys. Good drive. Damn. And this is up and good to make it 7 nothing. Cowboys. Hmm. Touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Uh -oh. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line.
Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 17 yard line. <sighs> I'm low key scared of his defense having not came out yet, bro, but because of that stuff like that. His offense was incredible, very patient, <laughs> very methodical. You got to match energies, man. You got to. If you don't, you will lose. If you don't, you will lose. This game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shift. Looking for Bateman. I'm looking for Bateman. Blitz coming. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Raven football here as we begin quarter. End of the first quarter, y'all. As they've got it as we resume action. I'm happy I was able to score before that. <laughs> Cause he took the whole quarter. Dog. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. Seven seven here right, as the kicks here. away. Fair catch gonna be taken, and this will be moved out to the twenty-five. What we got, what we got, what we got. Strong. We got that strong. Strong holding on, strong holding on. <laughs> The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game mm. and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I, I, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. They go back to Pollard on second down. We gotta stop doing that, man. <laughs> they gotta stop doing that, bro. Like, for what? For real. Can you bounce my body? And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Mmm. I had OA right there. I had him going the outside, though. That's tough. Good play. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Aubrey Good with a PAT. And that makes the score 15 to 7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. He's able to run away. Like, I, oh, I do that all the time, bro. I do that all the time, bro. And the computer literally comes at me. I don't understand how some people get away with it. I got to learn the ways of the force. I the scenario they had last time. How Charles remember they had the short field. They took it in the That was my fault. I wasn't trying to do that. How about this? And this return is going to be halted right around the 20. I was supposed to wait a little bit longer. You got to wait a little bit longer for those guys. Damn it. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. He's a fumble, bro. He fumbles, bro. I promise he does. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, Sometimes a thing of beauty. 
Prescott looks to throw on first. Bro, why am I going right to where he's throwing to and then I just fucking negate it? That don't even make sense. Look, I'm right there. I see where he's going. Take your time. The Raven mm. offense set at the line for this next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't I could have swore Dobbins was faster than this. Well Andrews has derailed his, his true it's potential. And take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand Fuck. where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On second down, Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to put that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. And lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. For Bateman, and he'll go in motion right here. Third and two, here's Jackson. He's got his two. That's apple. Three, but. He gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. <sighs> Two five. This one's gonna get him a first down. And we've hit two the two-minute two mark in this first half of action. I mean, we're in a a decent spot. We get the ball to half, so what like we just gotta. Thirty-seven on first and ten. Flowers gonna go in motion right. First and ten, it's Jackson. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time. Get that Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Well, the goal is to get back into this game. The offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now. But unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. Second down, here's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And he'll go out near midfield. Uh. 39. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs. Able to improvise and get the first. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. Now Jackson on first down. Of course, bro. What the fuck? How else am I supposed to throw the ball? How else do I'm supposed to throw the ball, bro? Somebody talk to me, man. How am I how else am I supposed to throw that bitch, please? I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Shh. Buddy got burnt. Buddy got burnt. Wow. Oh, come on now. Don't Jackson cheat me. Don't cheat me now. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Lamar changing the look. Now they'll change things around before the snap. From the gun on third down, Jackson. That is caught. 
Yes, what I'm talking about. Good one up. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn... Come on, offense. Let's score now. We're still trying to make up for that. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Bro, stop! Bro, y'all are fucking cheating me now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's 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 Andrews. It's Andrews. Wow, bro. Wow. That's what we're playing today. That's how we're playing today. Oh, I'm surprised he ain't dropped that. Casper's over there. Casper the friendly ghost is over there. I'm surprised he ain't drop it. <sighs> Casper the friendly ghost is over there. I'm surprised he didn't drop that shit. Come on now. Oh, bro. It's annoying when I gotta play Madden 2. <laughs> it's a more it's annoying when I gotta play Madden 2. Jackson on first down. Shit, bro. Competitors are already hard enough. <laughs> Splurge is already hard enough, bro. Stop, get, stop helping them out, bro. That's all I'm saying. In motion left, Flowers. Now it's Jackson. Good hold. Way to hold on to the ball, Flowers. Way to hold on to the ball, Flowers. Good job, guys. Sheesh. Good job, offensive line. <laughs> they gave me just enough time. Woo. Hallelujah. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown. keep up with and they say challenge him kick it to him the way he runs as fast as he is i wouldn't challenge him at all i'd do everything possible to keep it away he is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there and the extra point and the lead now up to 14 so six seconds all that remains of this first half is the kick is away Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports.
we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half. Ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. This time, Jackson will throw it. Rolling to his right. Throw caught by Flowers. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 35. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. That went into the hands of Flowers. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10, marking down at the 9. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens are back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And able to get this out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Prescott. That is caught by Rams. And he'll get to it right away as he's taken down right there at the 44. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And he'll go right back to land. And he'll go down the knee before getting this inside the 30. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. Pollard gets it off the option. Five 
five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And they're going to speed things up here. Second down, Pollard again. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 17. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. To throw is Prescott. Flush to his right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens will take over here at their own 12-yard line. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter, but now potentially a play that could have big ramifications. Yeah, you've driven the ball down the field. Things are looking up, but it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails. After the interception, here's Jackson. He finds his man complete. It's Flowers. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, that's about as tough as they come here, driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. Is exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, you just had a big, big game, didn't you? Duvernay now going to bring it out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw is Jackson. He finds his man complete. That's Flowers. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive.